The clog company Crocs is taking a stand against the US-China trade war. It's joined more than 200 footwear firms, including Adidas and Nike, in asking President Trump to cancel tariffs affecting sh shoe imports. Joining me is the CEO. Good Thank to you, see Richard. you, sir. The idea that you're going to move production, you're moving production from China or the production for, for, for shoes for the United States from China elsewhere. So we already had a, a very diversified sourcing base. As we look at our sourcing base, we're in China, we're in Vietnam, we're in Mexico, we're in a, a wide variety of countries. But as we looked at this, uh, you know, uh, tariff war, we proactively moved some additional uh, production out of China. So as we look at next year, only 10% of our U.S. imports will actually be manufactured in China. Right. How easy was it for you to make that shift? It was relatively easy because we've been planning this for some time. This is not all a response to the, uh, the tariff uh, situation going on. The diversification of our sourcing made total sense and it was something we were considering for some period of time. We'll talk about the product in, in one second, though, but, but there's no question, the worsening trade relations, the tariffs, does take a toll on your profits. We haven't seen much of an impact because we've been managing this. Manage, uh, but that's the point, you're managing it. That, absolutely, we're managing this. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of an impact today, you know, but frankly, I I think it would be better for both parties if they would come to a sensible agreement. Right. The, the demand for your product and the way in which you've had to shift, mm -hmm. uh, attracting different, make them cool, millennials, yep. even younger than millennials, actually. How difficult has that been? It's, it's been difficult. So the, the brand has been on a five-year transition. It's been a major turnaround, but we're seeing real traction on that turnaround. We just announced our third quarter earnings last week, and we grew 20% in the third quarter. And we also indicated that we will grow significantly in the future. The trick of that has been attracting new customers. We've done, attracted a lot of new customers through collaborations, collaborating with celebrities and singers like Post Malone, Luke Combs, but also other brands, Balenciaga and uh, Vera Bradley, good examples. So an incredible variety of brands that we've collaborated with to build and incredible product that appeals to our core customers. What, if, who is your core customer? That's a great question. Who so, is it? Is it somebody my age? Uh, there are a lot of people your age uh, who are our core customer. Careful. Well, I I hope... know, I just, it's about how you were you... describing my age, but they're probably not a million miles from yourself. Not at all, I'm sure. Right. Um, but we also have a lot of younger customers. If we look at a lot of the growth we've seen in the business, it's been with teens. So um, just recently, there was a major uh, study published that listed the top teen brands. And Crocs is the number seven footwear brand for teens in this country. Uh, that's up from 13 last year and 27 two years ago. So incredible progress with that younger consumer. That younger consumer is really important to us because it influences a lot of people. They influence their brothers and sisters, they influence their parents, they influence a ton of people. But you, you, you've got to sort of create, let's just li listen to this interesting point you made, you've got to create almost a virtuous circle, don't you, a cycle. Yeah. You want the celebrities to make them cool, so the youngsters or the millennials or whatever buy it because the celebrities, although why anybody buys a pair of shoes because the celebrities worn them, have yet to fully understand, but... But they do. But they do, and that's all you really care about, isn't it? One of the things I care about. Right. So once they've built... So once, once the celebrities worn, the youngsters bought, you then hope it infiltrates further along? That's a good part of it. There's another very important thing here. You see the storytelling on these shoes, right? So these are called gibbets charms. They're called... Gibbets charms, or gibbets. They, they go in the holes in the shoes. What this allows the consumer to do is tell a story on their shoes, completely personalise this purchase... It's a little tricky to get them out, but I'm sure you can manage. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they allow the consumer to tell a story. Right. And so oh. by, this is an incredible personalization uh, opportunity. So personalization is a global megatrend. Every young person around the world would like to, would like some help, uh, would, would like to be able to make this purchase a purchase that's for them. Right. But is it going to be, I mean, obviously you buy the shoe, but can you see, I mean, do you see an ancillary market in selling the uh, gibbets. gibbets. We absolutely do. And like the gamers, like the online gamers where the gaming's free. Right. Uh, but you buy There's all an the annuity. Things. There's an annuity. Would yeah. you do ever... I mean, I can't see you ever giving away the Crocs. Uh, I don't think we'll ever give away the Crocs because they have a lot more value than that to us and to our consumers. But obviously this is a, a significant incremental purchase. Each one of these is $4. What? That's a great deal, to be able to tell a story $4? that only you can tell. So this has got four, eight, twelve... Well, Thirteen. Thirteen holes in each shoe. I, 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 I thought I was... 
extraordinary. Well, if you buy multiple, we'll give you a deal. But... Excellent. <laughs> no, but, but it does show me that the fascinating part about this is the way you have to think differently. Yes. The way you have to, you know, and you're, you're battling headwinds from trade talks. Correct. And your new markets, and you've got to think differently. Yeah, and we're a global company, right? So 60% of our business is outside the United States, in Europe, in Asia. So we're selling this product all over the world, and this trend of personalizing your shoes and telling a story on your shoes is a global trend. And we're the only shoe company in the world that does that. You won't be the only one for long. Well, we hopefully, a lot of this is trademarked and protected, so we'll protect Give it as it. long as we can. Good. Richard. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Give me that back. Thank you very much. Four dollars each.